Hey folks, and Nate Broad here from Integrity Cleaning. I wanna show you some fairly clean looking carpet and why it should be cleaned anyway. Uh, I hear a lot of folks say, well, I don't need my carpets clean because there's any stains. Well, that's not necessarily the reason you wanna get your carpets clean. Let me show you uh, what we're looking at here. So, this is some fairly clean carpet, right? From the looks of things, there's footprints, uh, but nobody's actually lived here before. This was a model home. Uh, but what you'll find is that it will actually look a lot better. Even though it's only been walked on, there's literally no stains at all um, throughout the whole home, just footprints on fairly nice plush nylon carpet. Now, what I wanna show you is after we vacuum, after we pre-treat, after we clean the carpet, I wanna show you what comes out of the waste tank because it will always be dirty. Uh, now, one thing that people don't realize is that there's a lot of sand and grit and oils um, that get into the carpet and it's actually really damaging over time. So it's really important to have your carpets cleaned regularly even if there isn't any stains on there. So I'm going to get to work and then I will show you guys what we're looking for later. All right, so we're part way through here. We have um, pre-sprayed, we have vacuumed, and now we're using our CRB2 scrub, the cleaning product into the carpet before we do some hot water extraction. Um, so I'll show you what that looks like so far. So here's where we have it done, all right? Um, it's been pre-sprayed, so it's damp, it's, it's clear there. Um, but my goodness, look at these gorgeous vacuum lines we have here um, from our CRB. And this scrubber will pick up a lot more stuff that a vacuum simply cannot. So uh, it's always a really important step to do when the type of carpet is right. I've had some uh, clients ask me, um, hey, how come you're not using that brush machine? Well, if there's rips in the carpet or the carpet's thinning out, we don't wanna risk making it any worse because these brushes are, are pretty aggressive. So we do wanna make sure that if there's any kind of loose strands and things like that, that we're not going over those areas with it. But anyway, I will check up with you guys just in a little bit. Right. So we are just finishing up here. We've just got these stairs left to do, uh, but I'll show you here what we're doing. Um, obviously it looks very pretty with our lines. We had to go over some things in some different angles to kind of get the pile to fluff up. So some of our lines are a little wonky, not the perfect shark tooth, but uh, we will get these stairs finished up here and then I will uh, go ahead and show you what's in the waste tank. All right, everybody, we are just uh, finished up in that house. I want to show you kind of what we got now. Um, this is a freshly empty tank before the job. We're going to go ahead and open this valve here uh, slowly so it doesn't just go crazy. And then I'll give you a little close up when we're all done. Again, you didn't see any stains in that carpet, did you? Well, I didn't either. All right, I'm going to turn this off. So I can control this with one hand very well. What do you guys think? Does that look like it's clean carpet to you? I don't think so. But anyway, what I wanted to point out to you guys, whew, that stinks, uh, is that there's a lot more dirt and soil than you see that are not visible stains. Uh, it's not a solid surface. There's lots of little fibers and little pockets things can get into. Uh, and when you add 240 degrees of steam, you start to see a lot more things that are dirty that comes up. So anyway, give us a call or subscribe to our channel if you have any questions. We're gonna continue to post some helpful things on here. And if you need anything, let us know. Have a good day.